when did this start? When did the trigger warnings, when did the safe spaces, when did all this emerge? Well, it has its roots in the student radicalism of the 1960s, especially the far left radicalism. It really popped up in the 1990s, in the early 90s, when and I, I was teaching in the U.S. at that point. And Which uh, university? I, I taught at Harvard from 93 to 98. And there was a fair push for political correctness, especially in, in the early part of the 90s. But, but it, it got pushed back down and disappeared and went underground. It went underground is more accurate. And then it's just come back with a vengeance in the last five years. And I think it's partly because we have all these radical left political activist d d departments at the universities, women's studies being at the top of the, of the list, that have done nothing for the last 30 years. It's even longer than that now. It's almost 40 years, 30 years, let's say, have done nothing but produce a never-ending stream of ideologically-minded counter-civilization political activists. And that's all subsidized by, by tuition and by the public purse. And that's another thing we really got to ask ourselves, is why the hell are we subsidizing revolution? Why are we doing that? It's crazy. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous.